What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans, stand up, and you're now tuning in CFO Sports. So, yo, our Dallas Cowboys is taking an official break as they prepare to face off in their very first preseason game. Yes, preseason is finally here, y'all. It's finally here. We're going to get some game action this Saturday versus the Denver Broncos. And as we know, as of what happened on Thursday, we have to take things up a notch, and we definitely owe the Denver Broncos for how things have been going since our last few meetings, man. It just hasn't fared well with the Denver Broncos. So what I want to talk about today, just real brief, some of the few things that I'll definitely be keeping my eye on when it comes to Saturday's matchup. And the very first thing, I want to see how do we respond. I want to see how the Dallas Cowboys respond from what happened on Thursday in that scrimmage from the offensive standpoint. Now, I know I don't want to see fights. I don't want to see fists being thrown and all that. What I want to see is some toughness. I want to see you stand up for your teammates, right? I want to see some physicality. That's what I want to see from the Dallas Cowboys, especially when it comes to our offensive line. I felt like during the scrimmage, we didn't get the opportunity to see that for whatever reason. It might be the altitude. It might have been the heat. It might have been this. I don't want no excuses. Mike McCarthy has been preaching all offseason about being more tough, being more physical, and being clean when it comes to playing in between the lines of football. That's definitely what I want to see, and specifically from our offensive line. From our offensive line, I want to see continuity. I want to see better run protection, run blocking. I want to be, see, see better pass protection, right? I want to see continuity because even last year, we had in and out. We had Terrence Steele going from right tackle, left tackle. Lyle was in a few games and he was out a few games. Then we had Connor McGovern. Then we had Connor Williams. Like there was too much shifting when it comes to our offensive line. And I felt like ultimately that cost us last year. So we saw on Thursday what the possibility of our starting offensive line could be if something was to happen to Tyron Smith. Now, Tyron Smith, he didn't play in the scrimmage, but he's kind of limpy gimpy, I guess, right? So if that's the case, Right, we might see what our offensive line looks like without Tyron Smith. So I want to see a lot of great reps from our offensive line on Saturday. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out on them. On the offensive side of the ball as well, the wide receiver corps got a lot of youth. Some people are high on Simi, some people are Noah Brown, some people are TJ Vasher, some people like Dennis Houston. The list goes on and on. But I want to see how they really emerge. Who is going to step up? and grab that wide receiver opportunity. I feel like CeeDee Lamb's a lock, of course. Jalen Tobert's a lock, of course. But that wide receiver three spot is completely open. And I want to see who's going to step up and take it. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult because I don't think Will Greer is going to play this Saturday. So you're going to get a lot of Cooper Rush. You're going to get a lot of Ben DiNucci. So it's going to probably be hard to shine. So if you get a ball thrown your way, you better grab it because you might not get one in your vicinity for the rest of the game. But I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on that. Defensively, I want to look at the defensive line, but specifically the interior. I want to see the three tech. I want to see the nose, right? I want to see Ridgeway. I want to see Carlos Watkins. I want to see Quentin Bohana. I want to see Gallimore and Osa and Chauncey Goldstein, Tristan Hill. What does that rotation look like in the trenches? Because I feel like our run defense needs to improve from last year. It kind of got overshadowed, right? Because everything was going on. Diggs was getting pick six and Micah Parsons was getting sacks. But I feel like our run defense wasn't the best last year. So I want to see that improve. And it starts in the interior. Also, I want to keep my eye on the safety unit. J. Ron Curse probably won't play. So you're going to have Malik Hooker, Donovan Wilson, kind of your quasi starters, right? But then after that, you have Israel McQuamu, you have Marquise Bell. And then, you know, some other guys, right? So I want to see specifically at that free safety position, who's going to be the guy if something was to happen to Malik Hooker? I don't know. I don't know. So we have to see what does that rotation really look like? But last but not least, as my guy Nick says, special teams matter. I want to see the God dang kickers. I need to see some consistency with the kickers. The kickers got off easy during the scrimmage. They didn't kick much, right? But Liram Hallelujah, Brett Maher, 
I want to see some consistency. Now, Brett Maher has said that he's a much different kicker than when his last stint was in Dallas. That remains to be unseen, but we have to see who can we trust going into week one of the NFL season in regards to the kicking position. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye on that. Now, a few players, the very first player I'm going to have my eye on, right? It's Kelvin Joseph. And I will say this, I've been going out on the ledge and saying Kelvin Joseph isn't a practice player. He's more of a bright lights player. I feel like he's a gamer, right? So I want to see, is he going to really be a gamer? Because I feel like for the conversation has been about Kelvin Joseph, he's been good on special teams. But a second round pick, we expect him to be a lot more than just a special teams guy. So I'm definitely keeping my eye on Kelvin Joseph. And what does that corner position really look like? Secondly, our first round pick, Tyler Smith. What is going to be the usage when it comes to Tyler Smith? Is he going to be our starting left guard? Is he going to be our swing tackle? What is he really going to do for the offense this year? Right? And I know there's been a conversation. The war room could have possibly been split. And Philman may have not wanted Tyler Smith. I don't care. We drafted him. He's here. We have to find out where he's going to play this year and get this kid as much opportunity as possible and i want to see him maybe playing all the way into the third quarter he can play the whole damn game for all i care because he's going to need the reps at whatever position third dennis houston we've been hearing a lot about De dennis houston great reviews from dak prescott from mike mccarthy everyone's been speaking very highly when it comes to dennis houston but you're no longer playing against your own teammates now you know you're playing against opponents who's also trying to earn a job and a reputation and a name for themselves. So I want to see Dennis Houston really step up and shine. Like I said, it's not going to be with Dak. It's going to be with Ben DiNucci, right? But still, I want to see what his routes look like, what his tree looks like fully. Like, how does he compete? I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on Dennis Houston. For Sam Williams, our second round draft pick this season. We've been hearing some things about the edges. They've been playing decent, right? But you haven't been hearing... Doran's Armstrong is dominating, right? So I feel like there is opportunity for Sam Williams. I know they kind of mentioned special teams as well, but for Sam Williams, I really want to see him step up and take on that role of what we lost in Randy Gregory. He has the capability to do so. I want to see Dan Quinn utilize him in that way. And I want to see, is he going to be standing up? Is he going to be handing the dirt? Is he going to be three tech? What's really the plan with Sam Williams? So I'm definitely going to keep my eye on him. And last but not least, Josh Ball. Josh Ball, you was the whipping boy on Thursday. How will you respond, Josh? There's memes. They was talking dirty about you, right? And if you are going to be the swing tackle and the possibly left tackle, if something was to happen to Tyron Smith, which has already happened, I want to see, can you step up, show some nastiness, and hold it down that position? So I'm definitely keeping my eye on you. But let me know who y'all going to be watching like I said, Cowboys Nation, we know the whole roster. You know, we don't need no help. We know names, Story Jackson, Lee Davis. We, we can go like that, right? But those are five guys I'm going to be keeping my eye on. Let me know who you guys will be watching. Comment below, man. Also, follow me on all social media platforms, JTuck151. Turn on the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Get those likes up. I appreciate all the support. Everyone who tuned into the live show last night, we had a fun time calling in, getting our frustrations out, keeping things lit. I definitely appreciate that, and we're going to do it all season long, man. So it's your boy, Jay Tuck. I appreciate everyone. I'm about to go watch. I don't want to say I'm watching the Eagles. I'm more watching the Jets because I got to watch my guy, Jermaine Johnson. Noble's in the building. But it's football season. It's finally here, and it's time to turn it up a notch because what we saw on Thursday, that wasn't it, man. I want everyone to stay safe. They bless, they encourage, and our offensive line, I'm watching you. Peace.